Hello there everyone, I am Ben the Bold and welcome back to another edition of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts where we are just working our way through this Naval Academy. Look at all these little green check marks, I love them. Alright, so we have two more Naval Academy missions left in the Alpha 3 version of the game. Who knows, maybe with as they continue to update the game we'll get more Naval Academy missions, although what I'm most looking forward to is the idea of the campaign. So let's just keep going down through the Naval Academy missions. We are going to, in this episode, try to sink the cruiser killer. So our objective is to confront a deadly experimental battle cruiser. All right, so this battle cruiser of Japanese technology, interesting, is destroying our convoys. It, well, we can't allow them to do that. It is unclear what the capabilities of this ship are, but it is rumored that it is unstoppable versus smaller cruisers. Okay, this is why it has been nicknamed the cruiser killer. Cool. Your mission is to trace and sink this ship. Don't let it get away. All right, so it's probably going to try to run away at the first sign of danger. All right, you can risk attacking the enemy with a number of your best heavy cruisers or one of your own experimental battle cruisers. I'm just going to let you know that's what I'm going to try first. Um, and we will have some destroyers to help us out. I don't think they will have any destroyers. So I want to build a battle cruiser. I definitely want to increase, boost my technology. I'm finding that really boosting technology seems to be much better than building more funds. So let's go ahead and try to sink this enemy cruiser killer battle cruiser. All right, this is the battle cruiser that I have decided to build. And I love the look of her. I hope she performs half as decent on the battlefield as the way she looks. Man, look at her. This is, what's her name? The battleship Aurora. I love it. All right, so we have 14-inch guns. I They are going to be reloading every 30 seconds. I think that's great. They, I'm... Because we're going up against another battle cruiser, it should be lightly armored, I'm hoping. And so we are pretty lightly armored as well. So I think the 14 inch guns with their increased accuracy is going to be better than anything heavier than that. So we're just going to try to focus on hitting it from a long way away. Because uh, I do have a feeling that this target's going to try to run away. I think 14 inch guns are probably better here. I think they'll still do a ton of damage, but not be as inaccurate as like the 16 inch guns. I am also going with the triple turrets. I decided to do that just because even though the double turrets, they are a little bit more accurate. I decided to go triple turrets because, well, I'm just pushing more shells down range. And even though they may not be quite as accurate, I'm hoping that the extra fire will, you know, increase my likelihood to hit. I did jump it up to i'm just kind of going with a medium displacement tried to keep it kind of cheap uh as far as displacement goes so that i could stock up a little bit more on armor as well as lots of engine upgrades of course i went range very short we are very quick at 45 knots we will have to see though because i have a feeling that this cruiser killer might be the fastest ship i've we've ever attacked in these naval academy missions so we'll have to see maybe it's pushing the 50 marker but i think 45 knots should be enough, hopefully, especially if we can slow it down with a couple good hits. I did increase a lot of my kind of propulsion upgrades just because, well, I want to get up to max speed as quick as possible. That will also be helped by the fact that I have two of these mega funnels, so that's good. Of course, I'm going crop armor for just that 100% armor strength plus that minus 40% armor weight, I think, really... Kind of both of those benefits outweigh the cost of the 330%, uh, well, just more money. I am not super worried about anti-torp. I don't think we're going to get close enough to torpedo to have our torpedoes. You know, I didn't put any torpedoes on it. I don't think we're going to get close enough to have torpedoes do any damage. Plus, we have some destroyers, so maybe they'll get close enough to do some torpedo damage, but I honestly kind of doubt it. I, of course, went, went with the auto-reloading. I think just increasing your reload speed is super important. And, of course, I'm planning on fighting this at a pretty long distance. So I went with the, you know, best rangefinder I could get as well as the best radar I could get. I also increased my deck armor to 4.5 inches. All of, Everything else is pretty lightly armored. I'm hoping that, you know, that's not just a waste of money, but I put... Pretty much as much as I could without going overweight or over money, as you can see. And I think that that should help, again, if we're fighting at really long range, that plunging fire, um, you know, it could be useful uh, to increase my 
deck armor. Oh, one more thing. I did just go with standard heavy shells. I didn't want to go with the super heavy shells because, well, honestly, I didn't. <laughs> you know what? Actually, maybe I should go with super heavy shells. Is that going to put me over on cost? Yes, it will. So I just went with super he or with heavy shells just so I don't go over on cost. I'm finding that the heavy shells... Well, I'm even though I have that plus 25% ammo detonation chance, I'm finding that you do a lot more damage. And, I mean, it's kind of a high-risk, high-reward type scenario. But the way I see it, it may not be worth it in campaign. Because, hey, you have an ammo detonation and you just lose your ship like that in campaign after you spend, you know, months or even years building it. I mean, that's bad, but this is just a Naval Academy mission. If I lose it, if I lose my ship, I'll just do it again, you know? So I did, I am finding that heavy shells and even the super heavy shells, I'm enjoying using them. I also went with the high TNT explosives uh, just because, you know, just that extra damage output really helps. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we are on the battlefield. We have the battle cruiser Aurora. It is getting ready to turn. I have gotten a little radar update that says that our enemy is just pretty much straight this way, or actually, it's, I guess it's rather this way. So we are going to go ahead and turn. Our destroyers are just going to stay in the screening formation. I'm hoping that maybe our destroyers will draw some fire. If we get super close, I might have them try to go on torpedo runs, but I'm really not thinking this is going to be a torpedo battle. Um, yeah, but here we are. I'll let you know whenever we find the enemy. Here she is, the cruiser killer herself. I have not identified her yet. She is a Russian ship, even though she has apparently Japanese technology. Uh, and I'm honestly not super worried about this design. I mean, it might actually be armored to the teeth, now that I think about it. Like, it might have lots of armor, instead of it being the lightly armored kind of shell that I was expecting. But it does look to have some pretty large guns, although they are only double turrets, as it fires at me. Neither one of us have made any hits yet. As you can see, I'm actually just well off. We'll have to see. I'm trying to close the distance a little bit, but we are still fighting at approximately 25 uh, kilometers, which I believe my 14-inch guns have a grand, yeah, 0.8% chance to hit at this distance. So I'm going to try to get a little closer and see if I can do some damage. Just a little close-up of this ship, though. Yeah, I'm gonna bet that those are 18-inch guns. If we can start knocking those out, I bet they're pretty well armored. Well, we'll have to see. I haven't identified the ship yet, and when I do, we'll know a lot more about it. Oh, and unfortunately, the first casualties of the battle do belong to us. We have been taking a small hit it actually does look like they probably have some destroyer help as well, so I guess it's a good thing I incorporate all these. I had I forgot to mention it earlier, but I have a lot of four inch and three inch uh, and kind of tertiary guns up here. I'm not super worried about destroyers. I'm much more worried about this cruiser killer, if you will, which I have kind of misidentified as a battleship so far. Again, I have just barely any chance to hit. I am just kind of turn to get more of my guns in the fight. I have been only shooting with these two guns. And also, the ship seems to be going out in this direction, so hopefully I will hit it soon. Alright, so I just paused it here just to say how epic does this look? Also, I just got a, check that out, an ammo detonation, and so I want to come out here and look at the damage, but I got kind of lost in the pause. I mean, you see the muzzle fire, you see the shells that have just left. I mean, this game does look gorgeous. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start it up, and we have that huge ammo detonation that caused a fire, although it seems like they're real, that the damage has been mostly contained. We have another volley coming in. They, of course, have a good volley coming towards us, too, but hopefully this will be a good hit for us. Yeah, there we go, some flooding damage, and, I mean, that was that was not the greatest hit, but I'll take it at this point. We are fighting this really long-range battle. We are how far away? We have a 4% chance to hit. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer here, but now all my guns are, being, are into bear. This is now a game-changer, as all my guns are now firing. I do want to watch out for their... I don't really want to get in range of their 5-inch, or their torpedoes, honestly. Let's see, another hit for us, maybe? 
No, it looks like we missed there. Are they going to hit us? No, I think they missed as well. All right, so I want to try to stay out of range of their torpedoes because, well, I didn't prepare for a big... for uh, to deal with torpedoes. I'm also kind of getting separated from my destroyers, and I should probably watch out for that as they inevitably are going to face down with something potentially a little bit more damaging than destroyers, although I have a feeling... Ooh, there's another flooding hit. Excellent. I have a feeling that this cruiser light, once we identify it, will actually just be a destroyer. All I have to do to win this mission is sink 100% of the battle cruisers, and this is, I'm pretty sure, the only battle cruiser on the field. So I'm really not worried about them. I can send my destroyers over there to deal with them, but really, I am only worried about sinking this heavy battle cruiser. The battle cruiser Tulip. Ooh, we have a little bit more information about it. It has very weak armor. Its heaviest armor is only seven inches, so we should actually punch through it pretty well with our 14-inch guns. It does have 15-inch guns. They have about a 6% chance to hit every time. That's a little alarming, considering my guns have only a 4.7% chance of hitting, and I believe they just got a hit on me. Yes, they have actually started a fire. That's a shame. But we have another volley coming in, and while they are not on fire right now, they have suffered... Have... Ooh, that was huge! Destroyed a secondary gun and damaged a main gun. All right there. Excellent work, my gunners. Something else that we should keep note of is their top speed is 41.5 kilometers, or knots, sorry, 41.5 knots. Ours is technically around the 45 knot marker, however, we have suffered some damage, so I don't know if we're actually going to hit that. Um, but they've suffered some damage too, suffered damage to their engine, so I don't think they're going to be able to hit their top speed either. They do have maximum bulkheads, which is probably why they didn't just fall apart after that ammo detonation. It'd be nice to get a few more ammo detonations, but they are going to be a difficult ship to sink with those maximum bulkheads. Um, we also need to watch out for their torpedoes. Ooh, and they've destroyed a secondary gun and gotten a pretty decent hit on us. Let's check out the damage that they did. You can see in the up right-hand corner, we uh, do have some, some severely damaged portions of our ship. However, they do too. So, And we have another volley coming in. Can I get another good hit? There we go. Actually, that was a great hit. Ammo detonation. Sink it. Also, we had one of our destroyers sunk due to uh, structural damage. But that cruiser killer was no match for my epic battle cruiser. So that was the end of Sink the Cruiser Killer. We only have one more Naval Academy mission, at least how the game stands now. That will be reserved for another episode. The mission is called Heavy Duty. A super heavy battleship and its escorts must be destroyed. I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I love it. For some reason, battle cruisers have always been like my favorite type of like ship to design. But in this game, I really, really love it when I get a chance to build um, or try to take on a super heavy battleship. Especially if I can build a super heavy battleship of my own. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.